We're going to begin with the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where the keenly anticipated Artemis moon mission has been scrubbed again. CBC's senior science reporter Nicole Mortelaro is there. Nicole, why did the mission get delayed again? Well, unfortunately, you can see the rocket still behind me, and that is where it's going to stay due to a hydrogen leak. Um, there are two. Uh, fuel propellants on it, that's liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Uh, the liquid oxygen loaded no problem, the liquid hydrogen, they had a leak. They tried three times to, to fix it, and unfortunately none of those issues, none of those uh, came to a resolution. So unfortunately we're going to have to wait to see what happens. The irony here is, you know, today it's cloudy, but they thought actually, the weather officer thought that they were going to have to, you know, have a few no-go calls due to weather. and. Actually, it's beautiful, and there's no rain anywhere around here. So, unfortunately, it's that hydrogen leak. That just makes it sting more. You almost wish it was pouring rain and dark and thundery. So, it's, oh, okay, well, we needed to delay anyway. But fine, the weather's terrific. The launch isn't happening. So, what are we watching for next, Nicole? Well, uh, NASA is calling their media briefing at 4 p.m., so we'll get some word there what uh, the next steps will be. So, technically, the next launch window opens on Monday uh, at two. Uh, sorry, at 5:12 p.m. However, due to the fact that this was a hydrogen leak, the second in a separate spot than Monday's hydrogen leak. We're thinking it's probably going to roll back to the vehicle assembly building where they're going to have to re-examine and find out uh, what is causing the issue. And after that, there is a, a launch windows opening in uh, well late September, early October, but there is a Crew-5 mission to the uh, International Space Station then, so it's unlikely to happen then. And then the next window is at the end of October, opens October 17th. Okay, CBC's senior science reporter Nicole Mortelaro at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Thank you.